a non-Muslim says, why do you think it is not logical for someone to be held responsible for their, for their actions, like Jesus dying for the sins of the world? Well, first of all, in all fairness, if Jesus died for the sins of the whole world, I mean, well, how many years ago was that? That was like 2000, 2004 years ago? So if Jesus died for the sins of the world, if that is a principle, now Jesus didn't say that, but somebody else said it, but let's just say that that's a principle. Now if Jesus died for the whole world, that means whatever sins anybody committed since Jesus died, ain't no more judgment for them. Isn't that be right? Now the second thing is, how could it be that Jesus died for the whole world and at the same token, every child is born with sin. Now tell me how that, hook that up for me. Explain that to me. Now that would be, that would be double jeopardy for Jesus and the newborn child. That'd be double jeopardy. That doesn't make sense. And that's not based on scripture. That's based upon another theory and another set of principles that a group of people came up with that we don't need to discuss right here because our discussion is not about the, the Pauline doctrine or the, uh, the, the, the Council of Nicaea or the Council of Ephesus or any of those doctrines. That's not our discussion. The issue here is that that's not based on scripture of Jesus Christ and it's not consistent with the scripture of any prophets. So we don't accept that. <laughs>